doing live. All right, I'll go ahead and admit. Okay. You ready? Awesome. Okay. Excellent. So welcome to everyone who's spending some time with me this morning. I really appreciate it. Or actually it's afternoon. Sorry, I'm in Arizona. <laughs> so it's still morning for me. Um, whoops. So what we're going to do is uh, spend some time taking a look at the science of Nobosa. That's what today's theme is, the science of Nobosa technology. Um, it's also going to be a little bit the science of the nervous system and how important it is to controlling dynamic movement. I'll show you some of the products and then I will take any and all of your questions. Uh, all of my uh, mini sessions that I do during these lunchtime breaks, I do try to make them educational. So please do see the education side of this um, versus just a, a heavy sales pitch. Okay, so um, welcome to Noboso. Um, my background, so real quick, I'm Dr. Splickle. I'm a podiatrist. I'm the CEO and founder of Noboso, and I'm the inventor of our proprioceptive material that we use in all of our products and that we license to other companies and then they integrate into their products. My goal through starting Naboso and really all of my education and my podiatry practice is to help people reconnect to the sensory side of movement. I love feet from a sensory perspective. Some people love biomechanics and joints and angles and physics. Uh, my, my passion is really connected to the brain and the neuroscience aspect of human movement. Um, so that's really what Naboso is, is it's kind of that neuroscience aspect of human movement. Uh, so when you look at our brand, we have a new rebrand. So if you have been to the old Naboso website and you have not visited the new Naboso website, uh, first thing that you'll notice is that our URL used to be nabosotechnology.com. We dropped the technology and we are now naboso.com. So easier, quicker, less numbers or letters to type in. <laughs> so naboso.com, but in that rebrand, you'll see that we really are owning the triangle, the triangle that is actually the shape of our texture. So it's very important for us to connect to why we have a triangle, but then to also see the power of the triangle. Triangle. The triangle is the uh, strongest shape. It's a very strong shape. And that triangle also represents the three pillars or industries that we target with our products, which are medical, wellness, and performance. And if we look at the human foot, we actually have a triangle in the human foot as well, which is something that we connect to uh, as a company, we connect to as human beings who are uh, mobile. <laughs> and that is the foot's tripod. So the foot tripod in that, that triangle also represents the strength of our foundation. So it's a strong shape. It's our strong foundation. And it represents the texture of our our material, and then also the three industries that we target. Now, our mission at Naboso is to help people move, feel, and live by connecting to the sensory side of movement. And we do that through the feet. We also do that through the hands. So if you have a client that you are trying to increase the sensory input to the nervous system and you want to incorporate intelligently the Naboso products with the hand, you 100% can. We actually sell sheets of our material that has an adhesive on the underside, which means that you can buy that and apply it to literally any modality or surface that you're using with your clients. We have some uh, rehab centers that will apply it to the, um, think in the handlebars when someone has a, a stroke or a neurological condition, a brain injury, and they walk along the parallel bars, they actually have it along the parallel bars. We have some users that have said that they use the material in their clients that actually have a tremor of the hand that could be a Parkinsonian type tremor or could be a myriad of other causes for the tremor. And it'll actually calm the tremor down in the hand, which is really fascinating of what we see from both hand and foot 
applications. Now to take it even further, our vision, the vision of the company and what drives us is that everybody experiences what it's like through confidence and quality of life of optimized movement. Optimized movement is that powerful, that the more you can reconnect your movement, that's going to have a quality of life impact. So here's our, here's our product line. We have three main insoles, and then we have four main mats. I'm gonna break down each of these products so that you can better understand the differences, and then you can understand the application and the uses and who is appropriate for which insole, perhaps, or which mat as well. Okay. I will start by saying that all of them are built along what's called textured two-point discrimination. So two-point discrimination is like the braille dots. So the braille dots and the difference between the, the dots is stimulating the same nerve in the hand as what we stimulate in the feet. Okay. Now your first insole is the red one the red one. If you are familiar with Nabosa and maybe you've used our products in the past, this used to be called the Nabosa 1.5. Now it is Nabosa Performance. So we're uh, naming the insoles based off of the purpose in the application. So the red box, the red insole has a uh, moderate level stimulation. It is the only product in our product line that has more of a uh, cylinder or round type texture, similar to Braille. So you can see that the round texture, this is the moderate level. Now why this is the performance insole is because of it being a little bit dulled down, you could run and do ballistic stop and go activities and not be concerned about getting a blister. The one that has a higher stimulus, so the pyramids, we want to be careful with that. It's a little bit sharper. So we say to do your dynamic movement in the red performance insole, okay? And then this insole is, look how thin that is, two millimeters thick. It is freely movable. You can twist it, you can turn it. So it is not restricting any of your natural foot function. Comes in four sizes. The four sizes can be found on the back of the box and it shows you the sizing chart, okay? You can cut them all down so that they fit any of your shoe shapes or your foot sizes. Perfect, okay. Your next insole is the activation. This is the blue box. If you're used to Nabosa and you've used our products in the past, this is formerly formerly referred to as the Nero insole. This is formerly the Nero, this is now activation. The way that we wanna think of the blue activation is that this is for anyone who wants to reconnect to their foundation. They want to feel their feet when they stand all day. They're a trainer and they train their clients on their feet all day. I know maybe with COVID we're not in that situation yet, but you've been there, so you will be there again. And maybe you're getting foot fatigue because you're standing all day. Maybe you have a standing desk and you're starting to feel some foot fatigue because you're standing all day. Or maybe you're a police officer, you're a nurse, you're a construction worker, you are someone who just wants to have healthy feet and feel active. That would be your Naboso activation, the blue one. Okay, this texture is like the texture on all of our other products, which it is a pyramid. The pyramid, like the triangle that's in our logo, is representative of all of our products except that performance. The performance is the one that we have is a slightly different texture shape. Now, similar to the performance, look how thin it is, look how freely movable it is. It is an insole with absolutely no arch. That is intentional. That means that you can put the insole on top of any brace, on top of any custom orthotic, on top of any other arch support or insole. It can be combined to make the best of both worlds. Maybe you need some support, but let's add in some sensory. Four sizes, cut it down to fit your shoe shape and foot size. Here we go. We have a new insole at Naboso. The new insole at Naboso is called Nero. This is not the prior Nero. Remember, our old Nero is now called Activation. The new Nero is stiffer. 
It has the same triangular texture, which you can see through here, but also on the picture. Okay, and that pyramid texture, again, matches all of ours. It's a little bit stiffer. So this is stiffer than the activation, but it is still freely movable because that is our belief at Naboso. Okay, this is marketed for medical application. It's the highest level of stimulation at Naboso. And it's targeted towards medical application, meaning you have neuropathy, you had a stroke, you have foot drop, you have balance issues, uh, maybe you have a spinal cord injury, maybe a plantar fasciitis, we're thinking medical, yeah? Now, the reason why this is medical and a little bit separated from the others is this insole is going through the FDA process. So we are going through the approval process to get this insole approved by the FDA for neuropathy. And when we get through that FDA process, that means that this insole one day soon, our goal is by the end of 2020, will be covered by insurance, which would be very powerful to get that into the hands or under the feet of all of those individuals. The retail price for that one is 65, so it's a little bit more. Okay, let's go to our mats. So for the mats, all of the mats have the exact same texture, but they have slightly different levels of stimulation. And what's changing the level of stimulation for our mats is how hard they are, okay? Now, our standing mat is a two foot by two foot mat, which is for the purpose of standing, hence the name, standing, standing at home. You're in the kitchen, you're doing dishes, it's in the bathroom, it's at your standing desk, or it's for exercise and standing exercises. A lot of people will put it on the Pilates reformer, the carriage of the reformer, and then do exercises that way. We have some studios that have a few mats. So think of small group training, right? Unfortunately, due to COVID, a lot of our group classes have become smaller in size. So they would have, you know, six of the standing mats and each person has their own mat. And then that's where they would do balance exercises. So you can think of wide application for this. Um, again, two foot by two foot. So it's a little bit smaller, uh, easier and mobile than some of our other mats. That one is 55. Then we have our mind body. The next three mats that I go over, mind, body, uh, training, and pro are all two foot by five foot. If you were in Helen's lecture this morning or any of the lectures by Denise, they had the Naboso mat in their session. So you could see that it was a full yoga mat size. They had our mind body mat, okay? The mind body mat is moderate level stimulation. So it's the lowest level stimulation of all of our mats. Now what makes that stimulation lower is that it is a little softer. It's not soft, but it's softer than the others, okay? We've designed this mat to be used for yoga, Pilates, rolling, stretching, body work, whatever you might be doing on the floor, it is stimulating but not irritating to the hands, to the elbows, to the knees, to the tops of the feet. So you can get all other body parts on it and it'll be stimulating, but not irritating. Okay, great. That one is 110. Stay tuned for a discount code though. If you are sticker shock here, stay tuned for a discount code. Okay, and then I will say that our products are very, very high quality made. Our insoles have a one-year warranty on those and our mats have a one-year warranty as well, even though those go much further. We have some people with mats for over three years. Okay, now we have our training mat. Our training mat, you can see the size of it, right? So it's a yoga mat size, two foot by five foot approximately. This is going to be higher in stimulus than the mind-body. It is thinner than the mind body, which makes it harder. So it's more stimulating. It is intended for standing exercises, foot stimulation. Yes, hand, but more so foot stimulation. So you're going to be doing kettlebells, squats, lunges, whatever that you're doing, gait training, balance exercises, be creative. You are doing that on the training mat. Okay, help people reconnect to their foundation to then better activate their core, better stay aligned in their posture. Our 
feet are our body's foundation. So you know that this is, of course, going to be important. Okay. That also, 110. Okay. They all roll up. They all roll up like a yoga mat. They come with a strap and you carry them around like your yoga mat. Okay. Okay. Our final mat is going to be the pro mat. The pro mat is intended for facility use. We designed this a couple years ago when we first got picked up by some of the NFL teams. So we've got bigger guys and high traction. So we made an even more stimulating mat, honestly, for these guys so that they could feel that stimulation. Um, and it was also going to be a lot of high volume across these mats. So the pro mat is really intended more for facility use. Of course, everyone can purchase it. Um, thicker, harder, more stimulating than the training mat. So we have our highest level stimulation mat, pro mat. Still rolls up like a mat, not as well, right? Just because it's a little harder, so it's not gonna roll like a, a little foam Gaia mat, okay? Um, foot activation, get into the foundation. Of course, you could use the hands, but it's really intended for the feet, okay? Because this one is heavier, heavier by like a pound, right? It's not that heavier. Um, more stimulating, thicker, harder. This one is priced at 135, okay? Excellent, great. Okay, here we go. Now it's time for education. Whew. I'm sure you were like, stop selling me. I'm not selling you anymore. Okay, here we go. Learn the lingo. So let's talk about the right language that we want to use when it comes to, let's just say feet, okay? It's in the space of Nabosa, but feet. Okay, learning the lingo, mechanoception versus proprioception. People miss, miss these up all the time, and I totally interchange them as well because the lay person, the uh, client, has a higher chance of understanding proprioception than mechanoception. Mechanoception is like, what is that, right? It's, it's less um, uh, used or popular from that lay person perspective. So, Proprioception and mechanoception are both examples of exteroceptors. They are nerve endings that tell our brain about the external environment, right? So they help control our body in external space. Proprioception is really muscle spindles, GTOs. It's really the joint capsule. So when you stretch a joint capsule, um, it's what gravity stimulates. So it's a little bit different than mechanoception, where mechanoception is uh, requires a mechanical deformation. Proprioceptors respond to tension, right? Tension, length, tension relationships are in the muscle tendon junction. Um, so that stretch reflex is a proprioceptive response where mechanoception is a mechanical deformation. This means that when I touch something, like I'm, I'm picking up my phone, right? So me picking up my phone, I feel pressure. It's the pressure underneath my fingers that's telling me how hard to hold on so that I don't drop my phone, right? They are constantly reading the environment. If I'm holding my phone down here, I'm holding a glass, right? Especially if like I'm holding coffee and I'm, I'm talking to you, that's super complex. For me to hold this and not drop this, just think of the sophistication of the nervous system to be able to do that, right? That is quite fascinating that I'm able to maintain the amount of tension to, to hold this that is not going to slip. Now, where people start to lose peripheral mechanoception, you will actually start to see that they will just suddenly drop things. And this happened to my dad. My dad is a carpenter which means he works with a lot of tools that vibrate. Vibration is a mechanoception stimuli. There's mechanoceptors in your hands and your feet that respond to vibration. This is what I often speak about when we walk in ground reaction forces. So ground reaction forces are vibration through the feet, but anything that vibrates is going to stimulate hands and feet, same nerves. Okay, so my dad using a lot of sanders and saws and everything that he uses, literally every tool is, uh, involves some element of vibration or think of like a construction worker that has like a jackhammer, right? That vibration, vibration stimulates the nervous system. It gives it information, but you can overstimulate and then you start to get a shutdown. So you kind of almost like 
override these nerves. So he was starting to get a shutdown of the nerves, the peripheral nerves, the mechanoceptors in his hands. And I remember visiting him and he would have something and it would just literally fall out of his hand and he wouldn't, he wouldn't even realize that. So that, that's something to think about of the fascination of mechanoception versus proprioception. So technically, Naboso is a mechanoceptive insole, right? This is a mechanoception. It's not proprioception. Of course, if you say that to a lay person, they might be like, well, what are you talking about, right? So we say it's a sensory insole. If you ever hear me say, oh, we manufacture proprioceptive insoles, which I do say, I I'm saying that really because of that's what the lay term understands, okay? We've got a bit of education for the consumers in this market that we don't want to come out with like a whole, whole new com complicated thing. Okay, so here we go. So texture, texture is two point discrimination. So if you're thinking of texture is one of the stimuli that your hands and your feet or your mechanoceptors respond to. The next thing that you should be asking yourself is, well, what texture? Right now, before I developed Naboso, I would speak about mechanoceptors, but there really wasn't a lot on the market outside of whole body vibration, power plate and whole body vibration platforms. Those have been around for years. Those are examples of mechanoceptor stimuli, and they will use proprioceptors too, because it's like a lay term that people understand. Now, before Naboso, People in my workshops would say, how do I bring texture into my environment? You keep talking about texture. Well, what texture? And there was nothing on the market. So I remember some of my students that they would message me and they would be at Home Depot and they'd be like, Dr. Emily, can I use this texture? Can I use that texture? And they would just be pulling like outdoor carpet from Home Depot and kind of making their own variation. People would use turf, people would use pebble stones, right? So that rock mats, okay? Rock mats and pebbles is different than the subtleties of mechanoception like this. It is more like a trigger point release, which is a little bit different than mechanoceptive stimulation. It's still part of what we want to do, but I just want you to understand it's different than mechanoception, okay? So if you are on AstroTurf, it's a texture, but is it a texture that your brain recognizes? No. So I have some videos that are on our website and they are people with Parkinson's and it shows a before and after. Or we also have some of people with the brain injury and some people with CP, and um, uh, stroke and things like that, neuropathy. Now, if you see these videos on our YouTube channel, you will have a, it's like a wow effect where they can barely walk and then they're, they're running. Like they're just so reconnected to their nervous system. Now, the reason that we are able to get that response is because of the specificity of our texture. Our texture is actually two point discrimination. That is key, okay? So I just want you to understand that that's really what is happening when there's texture. Now, if you do a um, textured variances, that is still great. That's still great. I think it's beneficial to the nervous system to have different patterns and to have different, um, you know, like rough carpet and then hardwood floor and then a pebble path and then they're on Naboso and then all that differentiation and variation is super, super great. It's great to the brain. It stimulates everything. It keeps them guessing. Awesome. But if they are on, let's say, AstroTurf, will someone with Parkinson's suddenly be able to run? No. So that, that's what I want you to understand. Okay. So specificity, if your end goal is somatosensory stimulation. The other ones are still awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Everything is great. The more uh, input that you give your client, the better. Now, sensory disconnection is caused by shoes. Shoes and the cushion in shoes starts to create a sensory barrier between your feet, the ground, and your nervous system. So when you're looking at shoes and optimizing movement, you really do want to be as minimal as possible. Now, can everybody control minimal? 
maybe not. That's where barefoot training and a lot of the protocol that I go into with EBFA comes in. But just in general, when you look at shoes, I want you to think of them as a sensory disconnector. Let's say your client is like, nope, I need my cushion. I have fat pad atrophy. I have very sensitive feet. I need my cushion shoes by New Balance or whatever. This is where we come in with Naboso and say, not a problem, right? Baby steps here, not a problem. But I want to help you stay connected to your feet despite all of that cushion. So we're just going to slide in the Naboso insole. And then now I'm going to have you feel your feet even though you have that cushion. So let, let's try to find a connection to your feet in your reality. And your reality means I'm going to wear shoes, cushion shoes. Okay, that's, where, that's really why I created the Naboso insoles is for that aspect. Because for you, if anyone listening is like super pro, minimal and barefoot, that's awesome. But the majority of the population is not. So we're trying to get reconnecting to our feet into the masses. And sometimes we need to do that in a way that is um, kind of speaks to their beliefs a little bit. Okay. All right. So next concept, we're moving along, moving along. Here we go. We're doing awesome. Whew, I only have four minutes left. Oh my God. And I have like 10 slides left. <laughs> Let me go fast. Okay. So from the ground up, this means that we are connecting to people's feet they're connecting to the ground. The ground is your sensory rich environment. So the more that you can get people feeling the ground, the better. We want them to move hashtag from the ground up. And if you are using Naboso and you post anything, please hashtag from the ground up. My other hashtag that I use all the time is barefoot strong. So you could use both, but I do like the, just the belief of barefoot strong, foot to core, from the ground up. Yes, this, this mantra that we're trying to help people move better. Okay, here we go. Moving along, we're doing great. And then I'm gonna take your questions if you have them. If you don't, not a problem. Here we go, my questions. How long do they last? 500,000 steps. We had them third party tested, 500,000 steps. If you think of how long or how many steps people take, eh, for a majority of people, that's going to be about six months to a year within that range. Now, most other over-the-counter insoles last between three and six months. So if you were to get Dr. Scholl's super feet, power steps, those start to kind of break down around that three to six month mark, depending on how many steps or miles you are putting on them. Okay. Ours, we have them for 500,000 steps. Again, that's six months to a year, depending on the individuals. Okay. Our mats, like I said, those last a year plus plus. Okay. How are they cleaned? Throw them in the sink. The entire thing goes in the sink. Throw the entire thing into your washing machine. It will not get ruined. They do need to be air dried. So these will be air dried. So in the washing machine, set them out before they, the clothes go in the dryer, put them in the sink, scrub it down with soap, use a toothbrush or something like that. Scrub it down in between those textures and get it clean. We recommend cleaning them every one to two weeks, depending if you wear socks or no socks and depending how often you use them. And if you sweat a lot and things like that, the mats, the mats clean with any standard mat cleaner. You can use a t-shirt cloth. You can use a bamboo cloth. You want to, you can even air dry those if you spray them down and then let them air dry. Okay. Um, if you are on the products barefoot, because we have the texture, this beautiful texture, which is rough, you can actually hear that it's making a noise, right? That is going to exfoliate. So I don't mean to be gross, but it's going to exfoliate your skin. One, that exfoliation is like a free pedicure, just kidding, but <laughs> it keeps your feet soft so that you can stay sensitive. Calluses actually start to create a little bit of a, of a disconnect. So sometimes people will feel less, uh, less through the ground when they have calluses. Okay, so I have to use the mats and the insoles barefoot. Uh, the mats, ideally, yes, barefoot. The insoles, you can wear no socks, or thin socks. The thinner the sock, the more you will feel the texture. The thicker the sock, obviously you're creating a barrier. It's gonna be harder for you to feel the texture. Totally makes sense, right? We do have some users that will put the insoles in their socks. So you could put them in your sock and then continue. Okay, just two more questions and then we're wrapping up. How do I wear them all day? We recommend putting them in your shoes 
30 minutes the first time you get them, take them off. If you feel fine, put them in your shoe and you are good to go. They're not like other uh, orthotics where you need to break them in 30 minutes the first day, one hour the next day. If you feel good, if you feel awesome, you keep wearing them, the more the better. If you have balance issues, you will actually need them. You want them, you want to use them, okay? Our sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, they are gender neutral, gender neutral. So you look at the sizing chart and then you choose the size that you need. It fits a range of sizes, which means you cut them down to fit your shoe shape and your foot size. That ability to kind of customize the material is very important to us because every shoe has its own last. So every last, this happens to be the Naboso last, yes, which we have a new insole coming out soon. Stay tuned, holiday season, hint, hint. It's going to have a even wider last. It's gonna be our own last that I'm going to be designing, but this last is different. It, new Balance has its own last. Ultra has its own last. Zero Shoes has its own last. Okay, so we want to be able to fit kind of a wide of sizes. Last question, if you get used to the texture, what do you do? Oh my goodness, you alternate them. You go from this the first week, you go to this the second week, you go back to this one and you alternate them or you add the performance into it and you can vary the texture. They all still carry two point discrimination. So they will all stimulate the brain in the way that they need to but the variability keeps your brain kind of guessing and sharp. And that's what we want, okay? Excellent, whew, lots of coffee this morning. So I hope you got all of those pointers. Now, if you have any questions, I want you to type those in. I am going to give you your bonus code, DCAC. This is our thank you to DCAC for working with Naboso, for supporting us and to having us be a part of this conference. DCAC is your code. It gives you 25% off, 25% off. Yes, that is your code. Site wide through the end of August. So you have about three weeks left on that. Make sure you take advantage of that. Okay. Excellent. Um, so uh, Betty has a question. Could you send me more information on the success you have had with the neuro insoles and neuropathy? I have a client that may need some proof to convince her slash him. Okay. Uh, so Mary, or sorry, Mary, <laughs> Mary did the first one. Uh, Betty, with that one, yes, if you email me, if you send me an email, I'm typing in my email, um, which is uh, Dr. Emily, I'm typing it in now here because I don't have your contact information, Betty. Dr. Emily at nabosotechnology.com and you send me an email. I will send you links to the research with neuropathy. I'll send you some of the videos. And again, we are going through research right now. So oftentimes when a customer hears that we're going through the FDA process, then that kind of builds their confidence. Totally understand though. And then the other thing that I would say for, for everyone who's listening and for Betty with the question is that if you have a, a client that's curious, but they don't know because it's a new insult, right? It's texture. How's this? This is flat. I think of insoles with an arch. Go to our YouTube, uh, not our YouTube, go to our Facebook page and the reviews or go to our Amazon listings and look at the reviews. And those are, those are true customer testimonials, giving their feedback. Oftentimes that helps people to hear what other people's experiences were, and then they can kind of help make that decision. Yeah, and then we of course have, you know, our, our website that has our phone number on it. We, we are super happy to answer anyone's questions on the product. Perfect, great. Does anyone have any questions? Don't forget that code, make sure you take advantage of it. It is only through, the end of August. And if you've been attending any of the mind body sessions, so Helen did some, Gail has some coming up, um, Denise did hers, we have Yoga Fit, all of them are on the Naboso mind body mat, which we're super excited to be working with all of those professionals. So make sure that you see how they incorporate it into their sessions throughout DCAC. And for anyone who's listening through Facebook, um, if you have not heard of DCA, so you haven't been to the website or you didn't know that there's a virtual event, please go to dcacfitness.com and do check out. They are recording this virtual summit and then that will help you reference back if you've missed some of them as well. 
Awesome. Great. The website is nabososechnology.com. N-A-B-O-S-O technology.com. We are here to help people move better, feel better, live better from sensory stimulation. I thank you all so much. Have an awesome weekend. And I will see everybody next Friday when I have another Lunch and Learn. It will be learning, learning, learning. We are all about learning. So have a great day and I will speak to you guys soon.